Hello everyone, my name is the Vikram, and in this video I'm going to show you some of my coloring process. First and foremost, I should quickly state that I'm in no way a professional and my approach reflects some years of studying, observing, and learning from other more skilled artists. But in any case, I hope you enjoy watching this video. So I always start with a base color for the whole piece to make it simpler to later color different areas. I usually go for neutral grays, but it's nothing too principal really, you can go for any color that you want. Then, as all colors are set, and they are all on separate layers, I go for the simple shading to understand the values and volumes, because I never actually plan beforehand, or do any beforehand palette studies. It's not something too necessary to do, though, in my opinion, but if you're uncertain and want everything to be neat, then, in that case, planning more thoroughly is definitely a good way to go about things. I always do what my impulse so pleases, as in this case I completely abandoned any line art and after merging all the layers including background, I start shaping everything with the oil paintbrush from Kyle's brush set for Photoshop, which is compatible with Clip Studio 2, which I use for this uh, little tutorial. It doesn't have any mixing features built in, which is why I was mostly color picking the shades and mixing them the way you would with the actual oil paint. But I did occasionally, and towards the end of this little practice, use a smudge tool with some texture to blend in some sharp edges. I apologize deeply for any weird sounds in the background so that I can't afford a complete silence, so yeah. As you can see, I also try to emphasize the way how the background color interacts with the character, so as to blend him in more with the potential composition slash detailed background. For a lot of tricks that I use for these kind of artworks that mostly look like paintings, I draw inspiration from the artists of the Gwen Clots. Because some years ago, the art of those had left a huge impact on me, so ever since I always try to polish out my knowledge, because one can only achieve the level of mastery they so desire by constantly practicing towards their seven clear goal. I think that's pretty much it, even if not so informative, but as I mentioned before, I mostly go about my process with little on my mind apart from pure impulse and drive for experiment. Nevertheless, I hope you enjoyed this little tutorial, it's the first I have ever done and I'm pretty terrified really, <laughs> especially talking in English. So yeah, спасибо вам большое за просмотр, bye bye!